Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Iraqi Dinar News. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we have massive updates on the Iraqi Dinar that could impact the global economy, so make sure to stay tuned till the end of this video. In this video, we're discussing a major development. The Iraqi Dinar has been fixed at 6.12 IQD per US dollar. This is huge. We'll break down what this means, provide insights from top intel sources like Nader, Mark Z, and Frank26, and explain how this could affect you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's dive right in. Iraq's dinar fixed at 6.12. What you need to know. The latest buzz in the dinar community is the Iraqi government fixing the dinar at a rate of 6.12 IQD per US dollar. This is significant because it's a major shift in the ongoing discussions about Iraq's financial stability and revaluation potential. To give you some context, Iraq has been working on stabilizing its currency for years. This fixed rate might be part of a larger effort by the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, to control inflation, stabilize the economy, and manage exchange rates. According to several experts, this move could be the precursor to a revaluation, or RV which many in the dinar community have been eagerly awaiting. Intel update from Nader, Mark Z, and Frank26. Now, let's move on to the latest Intel updates from three highly respected voices in the dinar community, Nader, Mark Z, and Frank26. These sources have been instrumental in providing accurate and timely updates about the dinar's progress. Nader's Intel. Nader recently spoke about the fixed rate of 6.12 and expressed optimism that this move could trigger a series of events leading to the RV. He believes that the CBI is laying the groundwork for Iraq's economic independence, which could lead to a stronger currency in the near future. Mark Z's take. Mark Z, another prominent voice, shared his thoughts on this development. He mentioned that this fixed rate could bring more stability to Iraq's economy, which is essential for any currency revaluation. He emphasized that while the rate itself is fixed, it's the actions behind the scenes, such as Iraq's discussions with the U.S. Federal Reserve, that are the real game-changers. Frank26's insights. Frank26 also chimed in with his analysis. He highlighted that the fixed rate is a sign that Iraq is preparing for the next step in its financial reform process. Frank26 believes that this move is a key indicator that Iraq is serious about pushing forward with its economic reforms, which could include the long-awaited RV why the fixed rate is significant. You may be wondering why the 6.12 rate is such a big deal. The significance lies in the fact that Iraq is now showing more control over its currency. A fixed rate means that the Central Bank of Iraq is taking steps to prevent fluctuations in the currency, which is crucial for fostering a stable investment environment. This move also signals to international investors that Iraq is working toward a more stable and predictable financial system. With a fixed rate, Iraq can attract more foreign investments, as investors typically prefer to operate in environments with less currency risk. Moreover, this fixed rate might serve as a stepping stone toward a future revaluation. The RV, if it happens, would increase the value of the dinar, benefiting those who hold it. Many believe that this could be the start of something bigger, as Iraq continues to implement economic reforms. Central Bank of Iraq's Role and U.S. Involvement the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has been at the forefront of the country's economic reforms. Recent discussions between the CBI and the U.S. Federal Reserve indicate that Iraq is working closely with global financial institutions to stabilize its currency and boost its economy. These talks have been crucial in ensuring that Iraq follows through with its commitments to financial reforms. A more diversified economy, combined with improved currency stability, could be the key to unlocking Iraq's full economic potential. With a fixed rate of 6.12, the CBI seems to be implementing its strategy to shake up the parallel market and streamline exchange rates. By limiting monopolies and regulating currency trading more effectively, Iraq could be setting the stage for a more transparent and efficient financial system. What does this mean for the revaluation, RV? For those of you holding on to Iraqi dinar, the big question is, does this fixed rate mean an RV is coming soon? While no one can say for certain, the signs are promising. The fixed rate of 6.12 is a strong indicator that Iraq is moving toward a more stable financial future. This is a necessary step before any potential revaluation. 
Keep in mind that the RV depends on several factors, including Iraq's political stability, economic reforms, and the successful implementation of financial regulations. However, the intel from Nader, Marxi, and Frank 26 all points toward positive movement in the right direction. Electronic payments and financial modernization. In addition to the fixed rate, Iraq has been making significant strides in modernizing its financial system. The rise of electronic payments is one clear example. According to financial experts, the volume of e-payment transactions in Iraq has soared to 18 trillion Iraqi dinars, which is roughly $13.7 billion. This shift towards digital payments is part of Iraq's broader efforts to modernize its economy and reduce its reliance on cash transactions. The Central Bank of Iraq has been actively promoting this change, which could lead to more efficient and secure financial transactions in the long run. The combination of a fixed currency rate, increasing digital payments, and ongoing financial reforms is a recipe for a stronger Iraqi economy. These are all positive signs for the dinar's future value. Conclusion A new era for the Iraqi dinar? As we wrap up today's update, it's clear that Iraq is making significant progress toward financial stability. The fixed rate of 6.12 could be the first of many steps leading to a stronger dinar and potentially a revaluation. What are your thoughts on these developments? Do you think we're on the brink of a major shift? Drop your comments below and let's discuss. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the Iraqi dinar and its evolving financial landscape. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.